everybody. So uh, instead of give, jumping right into the paint job today, my mom came over and we decided to have a little lunch. So Hello. I'm here with mom. We went to one of my favorite places, uh, Miguel Jr.'s. Miguel's. Had, uh, yeah, so, just huh. a couple of tacos and that's about it. Yeah, so now we're going to go back and I'm going to try and get some ice for him as we need some. He's from Walmart. I'll pick that up, but not too much I can help him with. Yeah. I'm too old anymore. <laughs> the whole, my body wants to, but I can't. <laughs> Well, I'm almost there myself. This is tiring work. So, yeah, it is, yeah. so well, I'll go home and jump back onto the work. And I uh, always need ice because the ice machine still doesn't work. <laughs> Just walk it down. Yep, at least the garage door works. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, it's been kind of a rough day. Well, not really. It's not a rough day. But uh, not getting a whole lot accomplished kind of day. I uh, had ordered parts for the garage that I ended up not needing, so I have uh, um, started the process of sending them back so it's through Amazon. So, And uh, it's kind of their fault, but they're not admitting it. I had ordered it, and with it was on like a Friday, and, and I canceled it, and it hadn't even been processed yet, but they... I canceled it again a couple of days later and they still sent it to me. So, and now I'm sending it back to them and it's going to cost me about $10 to, to ship it back because it, they claim it's my fault because it was, uh, they only pay for shipping if it's damaged or whatever. So, started that, had to print a uh, return label and my printer is completely out of ink. So uh, now I have to go around and get some printer ink. So once I get that going, uh, I'm also sending back the sensors that I got for this truck because I'm not gonna bother with that. That was uh, $80 that I'm gonna get back for those. I don't need them. I don't care if this light is on. It's only an issue of trying to sell it. And um, if we're going to be moving, I've got a whole bunch of the truck because I'll need it for work in uh, New Hampshire. Val has finally, her sleep has finally caught up with her today. And um, I get managed to talk to her a little bit this morning, uh, but she's kind of out of it. I'm uh, not sure if um, she is going to uh, videotape anything today because uh, the last time she had uh, one of these uh, non-sleeping couple of days that she will, she'll be asleep for the entire day. So, But we'll try and see if we can get her at least to closer for today's video. Otherwise you're stuck with me. So right now I'm just going to get some printer ink and get the, that stuff ready for pickup by UPS. And then I haven't even been upstairs yet. So I'll take a look at that. I'm probably all I'll be doing is pulling baseboard and sanding. All right, so I'm back upstairs, and my next step here is going to be to pull the baseboard. I'm going to probably put it out on the patio for right now, unless it looks like it's going to rain. Um, I'll start in the closet, and I'm going to mark it so I know where it goes back, and. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to replace the baseboard with new stuff because I don't have the money. So I probably end up having to sand a little, fill some holes, and blah de blah blah blah. So that's the next step. Yeah, the floors in here are actually made out of cedar in the closet, and uh, I'm looking forward to sanding it up and see what that smells like. Whoever carpeted it last glued over it. So I don't know how easy that's going to be to come up, but I want these to look nice when it's done. All right, West Wing. 
closet. One, number one. I'm just going to go from left to right all the way around the room. All right, so I'm pretty much done for today as far as this is concerned. Um, I took the uh, baseboard off in here. I'm still not sure what I want to do about this cabinet. It's really kind of gross. Don't think it's a selling point. So, and uh, I filled, I had some uh, foam jack holes, some of the ancient ones that were around. So I filled those over here and just removed them. Who needs phones anymore? And um, I started a little bit more in here, just taking the um, sockets off of the wall. So, I'm working in the closet. I need to fill some big holes in here. I did those myself, getting the, the, the shelves off in here. And uh, paint this room. I don't know if this room is, but this paint, it was probably painted once. It did a terrible job. It wasn't me. I won't take the baseboard or removed it for paint. So I'm gonna put a nice, get this wall nice and smooth, get it well painted. I may even get my compressor out and spray this acoustical tile on the ceiling. See uh, how ambitious I'm feeling. I like to do everything right, but heck, I'm selling this place. I don't quite know what to do. Um, so, I'm done for today. It's a nice day. It's pretty windy outside. <sighs> it's uh, not that hot. I think I'm going to relax. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to cut my hair and trim my beard. I'm getting to that point. Getting complaints already. So maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, guys, so uh, what do you think? Like it better than uh, Scraggly Kevin? Well, I uh, haven't heard from Val in a while, so, and she told me that if she hasn't heard from me by now, then she's asleep and uh, do not disturb. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't know if I've recorded the whole lot today, but uh, put it all together. Just a little work uh, upstairs, uh, cut my hair and uh, trimmed my beard, had a little lunch with mom, and that's about it. So I am hanging out with all the animals. I'm in the kitchen right now, which is why I have an audience. Doesn't matter whether they've been fed already. As soon as I'm in the kitchen, they assume it's meal time. So, if you guys like this video, then uh, give us a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe or resubscribe and um, share it with your friends and relatives. And we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully that will be uh, a week. Yep.